In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace or add RAM, add and remove RAM in a HP ProDesk 600G1 small form factor computer, which you see right here. So the first thing we want to do is open the side panel, pull it out like that, kind of like a door for a car, and get this down like here. The RAM modules are located right here, as you can see where my finger is pointing at. There's four RAM modules. One of them is, a pair of them is black, a pair of them, another pair is white. So you want to pair the RAM together. If there are different RAM modules, the way you take it out is you just pull it out like that. And it just comes right out like so just like that and to get it in let me get a better angle better camera angle so you can see better you see that one notch is bigger than the other so this part is bigger than that part it, I mean this part is shorter and this part is longer so and the RAM you see the same thing this is shorter this is longer so you just have to match that in and push it in make sure the brackets here are open before you do that just push it open like so make sure you get it in correctly so it goes in this way this is shorter this is longer goes into the RAM slot. Both of these are different RAM modules, so just letting you know that. So if they were the same, I would get it in this was the same it'd be it'd be black and black so that's how you pair the RAM if they're the same but these are not the same RAM so I'm gonna get it in like that open both push it in push one side in until you hear a snap on the left side you heard a snap, on the right side you'll hear a snap too. And now the RAM is firmly in there. And that's how you get it in, it's, it's very simple. It's not difficult to do. Make sure you align it correctly before you put the RAM in because it goes in just one way. One side is, the left side is, is less, is shorter, and the right side is longer. So the same with the RAM, that's how it corresponds. And to get this back in, it's quite simple. You just get the side panel back in and you're good to go. So when you first start the computer, it's probably gonna give you a warning or something that the RAM amount has been changed or something. To get this back in, you just put it in like this, tilt it like that, and then just push it in lightly. And that's how you get it in. So that's, it's pretty easy to change out the RAM. Um, I, you could get uh, two gigabyte DIMMs. So if you put two gigabyte DIMMs, you could have a total of eight because there's four slots. If you get four gigabyte DIMMs, there's four slots of so four times, four slots times four gigabytes of 16 gigabytes. You could get eight gigabyte DIMMs and that'd be eight times four, eight gigabyte times four is 32 gigabytes. And you could put a total, total of 32 gigabytes of RAM in this uh, computer. So what I'm using this computer for is kind of like a home theater computer. Actually, I'm using it as a video game console uh, with a operating system called Linux or Batacera Linux. So this is my video game console to play retro games. 
So depending on what your needs are, if you're planning to use this for a um, your main computer, you could get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, that be that would be pretty useful if you are using it as your main computer, or if you're using it in my case just as a uh, just as a toy, like a video game console. I'm just putting in eight. I don't need any more than that. Um, so if you have any questions or inquiries, you could uh, leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.